Yo, what's good, my boys? We're back with another video, finally. It's been like a month. Today, we have a very different one than what I'm used to doing. I needed more storage for my computer. So I figured I would do a little unboxing and show how to put it in, because it can be kind of confusing to some people who aren't very good with technology. Uh, I hope I don't need scissors because I don't have any, so. And I do need scissors. Okay, I'll be right back. WD Black SM7 750. I was right. Uh, it's a one terabyte. There you go. That's what it looks like. It's very small. It's like one of my. It's my middle finger. All right, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna put this in there. So what you need for this is literally just. Phillips head screwdriver, right? Now mine is per, per, yeah, mine's really small because the screw is really small. So you'll need a small one if you want to put another SSD. Now, let's flip it over. We got screws on. You got like I don't know how many screws. And I need a cup. Uh, hopefully this will do. It has holes in it, but uh, I think it will be fine. So yeah, it's just un. That's where it's very straightforward. You just unscrew all of them, just loosen all of them. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this one right here, right here. This is the front of the laptop. This is the back. These are where all the vents are. In the front right, if you're looking at it from the camera's perspective. This screw will loosen, but it will not come out. So you can tug on it as much as you want. You can loosen it as much as you want. It's not going to come out. That is okay. That's how it's supposed to be. So just be aware of that. All right, now that all the screws are out, put this. I'm just going to put this in somewhere where I'm not going to bump into it. All right. So now that you have this, remember the screw is still in. You just want to kind of. You might need a flathead screwdriver if you're opening it for the first time. But since I've done this like four times already, I'm just gonna um, pry it open. Okay, it'll just kind of pop out. So you can put this wherever you need it to. I'm just gonna put it here. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so now that we have this, I'm going to flip it back over so that the battery is facing me. And while we're here, I'm just going to show you where everything is. Obviously this is the battery. This is the first SSD that I am not, I'm not replacing it, but I'm just adding another one that's going to go right here. This is the RAM, those are the heat pipes or whatever. I think uh, CPU, GPU is like here and here. And if you want to replace the RAM, you just kind of lift this up and pull it out. I'm not going to be replacing RAM, so you can probably go watch another video about that. Okay. So once you've opened up all of this stuff, you're going to come here, which is right above the right side of the laptop. You're going to see this and some colored cords, and then there's a screw right here. I already take I've already taken that out. It's a very small screw. Uh, you can tell how small that is. But what you're gonna do to put this in is if you look closely right here, you will see there is a divot in the top. That's where the divot in this, as you can see, is gonna go. So you're just gonna line those two up. And you're gonna push the in. And it's going to sit at this angle, and then you're going to want to push it down. Put your screw in. And you finally got it in. So that's in. The screw is tightened. So now all you have to do when it is in, all you have to do. 
where this is in is just put the top back on and put all the screws back in and I'll show you how to configure it which just means how to set it up so you can actually use it so I have to put this back on put this back on line it up these vents in the back with the heat pipes in the back obviously it's pretty obvious and you just push down pretty much everywhere. Make sure they're in the right spots because these are all different sizes which makes it even harder. <coughs> Alright, all the screws are back in. Now let's go configure the SSD. Alright, so so as you can see, I have one drive and a 12 gigabytes for you on it. So we're going to go configure it. Okay, so what you're, it's not going to show up here immediately. So you're going to go to here, create, search create, and it's going to search up this. You click OK on this. Yep, click, all right, click new simple volume, click next. This is all fine. You can't change that. Click next. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it M.2 SSD. Everything else is fine. Click next. And uh, that's it. Click finish. And there you go. I got scammed. What? Only 930 gigabytes? No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah. This is your second drive. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to do it. Hope you, and then I will be back to normal uploads soon. Uh, but yeah.